uh, this is the third, so-called third institution in Veenhuizen in the province of Drenthe in the Netherlands. Um, and it was built as an, <coughs> as an orphanage, basically, uh, in 1823. And this is uh, a v a, an almost identical building. This is the second institution. It's one kilometer uh, f away. Um, and the, the f they, are uh, they, were all, uh, they were both part of uh, a very large um, endeavor uh, that, was, that was started by a, uh, a, a private organization, actually, or you, you, might, you might say a kind of an NGO, a very early NGO, um, to help the poor, uh, from the, mainly from the cities in the Netherlands, to, 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 get to, to, make, to improve their lives and to, to, re to, get a, to start a better life. And the idea was, we take the poor, we take the orphans, we <coughs> take the beggars, we take the, the poor families away from the city, we take them to the really, really remote uh, areas in the, in the north of the Netherlands and in, in the north of Flanders, was, which were then part, w w w just uh, one country. Um, and we let them work the land, so it's a win-win situation. They benefit from it. They they get they they get houses. They get housing. They get food. They get um, health care. They get uh, education for the children. Um, so it really was a quite progressive idea. But of course, also the the, the idea was we we get we we want to get we so we get rid of them from the towns. We we take them to distant areas where they can work the land. They improve the land. We we. They, they, it's a self-supporting system. They don't cost as much as they do when they're. In, they don't cause as many trouble. So, it's a very double. Uh, from uh, looking at the way we 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 look at it now, it's a very double uh, <coughs> concept. Very, um, yeah. Not not uh, not so easy to say whether it was good or or not. Um, so there were in total were seven colonies in, in the Netherlands and what's now Belgium, and they have been uh, proposed as a World Heritage Site. They were they were nominated last year, and it will be decided by UNESCO next year uh, whether they, they they will become World Heritage. So this is a group of seven colonies. Van is um, is I would I would say uh, by now is the most well known of it, and this is because of a, because of a book and and a play that was based on the book. Uh, this book was written in two thousand eight um, by a journalist who never really intended to write a book on on a historical sites. Uh, she just happened to to see she went into she delved into her own family history and then found out that this is very closely related to the site of Feenhuizen. And she write, wrote a book that, that became really, really successful, has been voted as one of the, mo of the best historic uh, books in, in, in the Netherlands. And, and then, um, yeah, based on, on the book, they, they developed a, a theater play or a musical um, that has also been tremendously successful, 90,000 visitors over the course of two seasons. And in fact, this is, we've been talking about bottom up. Um, I'm, I got involved in this project, this has just been a little side project for mine, uh, because my brother, he's a musician and he played in the band. So in this case, it's the artists who got the archaeologists interested in the site and not the other way around, not the archaeologist or the museum ask, asking an art artist how can we present this to the public. Now the, 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 the site of Weinhausen, um, I got the impression it's not perceived of as an as an archaeological site, and this is probably because it's it it appears as a very uh, very well preserved uniform ensemble, uh, which is dominated by by later nineteenth century uh, buildings um, that were that were built when when the village had already developed uh, or, or turned into a, a prison village, which it still is now. It's it still host to to um, large prisons. Um, the, the third institution was, was demolished in 1925 and as I said it, it, it was not by the heritage agency, not by the local population, not by the writer of the book. Nobody ever thought of this as an archaeological site. The Feenhuizen has well, um, I think 123 protected monuments but not a single archaeological monument. 
Um, and the site of third institution was bought by the community a few years ago, and they, they have serious plans to develop the site because they think the, this, the building has been taken. This is just an empty site that we can use for, for development. Um, now, this caused a lot of protest in the local community, and they came up with a different ID also to show the relevant historic importance of the site, and they, they, planted, the, they, they planted the contours um, in the field with flowers, with wild flowers, so to show visitors during the, during the theatre play um, where this, the story of the play actually took place. And, um, but nevertheless, so they, 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 they made this wonderful uh, flower, uh, um, well, the, the flower uh, uh, carré, um, but, but never thought of this as archaeology. And uh, they thought it really weird when I said, like, this, this site is actually, it, for me, it's, it's this really screams for a geophysical survey. So nobody ever asked whether there were any uh, archaeological remains. Sorry. So, um, yeah, I did a geophysical survey and I also tried to get the local community involved. So I, I did the survey with local volunteers. Um, and again, none or only very few of them were actually... Uh, involved with archaeology or even interested in archaeology. Some others, they were just, they had been working in the prison and they thought this was just a nice, a nice way to engage with the history. Um, so and I tried to, uh, to communicate this to the local community, uh, basically or mainly through, through uh, local media, Facebook and so on. Um, so this is not the, 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 the right session to, to go into the, the results, but the geophysical survey has been very successful, in, at least in my opinion. Uh, there certainly are remains of the, of, the, of the building left, even though the walls have been uh, disturbed. Um, yeah, that's my story.